Let us run through a scenario. For example, Jax, you and I have been on six dates. You're so hot. No. <laughs> okay. That's an example of what not to do. Okay. Yeah. Here's an example of what you should do. Mm -hmm. Jax, I want to have your babies. You're going to meet Tom. Tom, say hi. Hey, how are we doing? <laughs> he said say hi, you said hey, so not great. <laughs> hey, God, Tom. Tom. Hi, 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 Tom. How That's are you? That's perfect. Tom Here's does not uh, sound happy, and he's not, because he met somebody named Adrienne over Hinge. Tom, fill us in on the rest of the details, because this ends with a ghosting. Long story short, I, I met Adrienne, um, this girl on Hinge, about like the beginning of August, so a co almost a couple months ago now. Or a little over a couple months now. And, you know, I thought things were going really well. You know, we'd kind of been seeing each other for like two months. You know, like it seemed like every week we were either hanging out or going out to dinner or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like a walk in the park, something. And then we'd pretty much be texting daily as well. So I thought stuff was going really well. Like, Sounds I didn't like think it. She was my, I didn't think she was my girlfriend or anything, but. Sounds like I you're closing in on that though, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 It seemed like we were nearing, nearing that point of mm -hmm. the relationship we were having at least, at least the conversation about it. So. It was totally fine. And then two weeks ago, I sent her a completely normal text just to set up some plans. I, I said, like, hey, uh, what are you doing on Saturday? Mm -hmm. And then she just says, I'm really busy with work. Let's try another day. And in my head, I'm thinking, you work like a normal nine to five. It's Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, like, that doesn't make sense, right? Um, now, it's possible so that I, she has some extra work to get mm -hmm. done, right? That yeah, does happen. Or she's doing something else. That's yeah, definitely that's going. Definitely, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely possible. I mean, I, I didn't want to overthink it, so I just said, "Is everything okay?" But then you um, did so overthink it, didn't by you? By asking, yeah. "Is everything okay, my love?" That's overthinking it. Um, I, I, you know, I just wanted to make sure she was fine. But, right, uh, right. So but then it gets worse. Come on, tell us what happened. You're talking yeah. to a show of overthinkers. Let's go. Okay, so then she never replied to that text either. Uh -huh. So this, yes, this is where I kind of spiraled, I guess you could say. Oh, so, okay. uh, TJ, you want to help I, him I out might here? Have gone wrong here. Uh, I love a so, spiral. Go ahead. So after she didn't respond to me, I, you know, I the next day I just I, I sent, you know, I more or less just poured my heart out in a text saying <laughs> like, hey, like I don't want to lose you. I, you know, I like where this is going, and you know, I could see us. Dude. You know, keep dating and becoming more serious, no. and she, you know, she just didn't reply. And so, if you guys could figure no. out if that's what it was or what went wrong, <sighs> okay, I'd be, I'd be great. Ooh, Tom, guys, I haven't dated regularly yeah. in seven years, and I know that's bad. No, you, Th no, it is. Hang it's on, bad. insecurity no. comes off very Tom, bad. I know. Yeah, Tom, in, in text. I know. And I I just I see I see where he was coming from. Yeah. He said, uh, "If I'm going to shoot my shot, I'm going to go for it." And I de I need her to know how that I feel. That was not the time. No, I know, I know. But like, it, it would have been better in person. It would have been better a lot of things. But obviously, you didn't have access to these tools and resources. So you thought, "If I'm going to shoot my shot, I'm going to." I'm not saying it was the right thing to do, and it's probably overwhelming. But like, I I can see where you're coming from. Telling someone how you feel that's perfectly okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The manner of which you did it might be the problem. Yeah. You know, as yeah. almost like your hail mary pass. Mm -hmm. But it is an odd time in the world, and things are scary. Sure. Okay, well, you can say that for like that. literally I never, anything. I would yeah. never do that, it's but like, things are scary. I put my shoes on the wrong feet the other day, and it's that's because things in the world things are, are weird, and things are scary. <laughs> 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 All right, Tom, Tom, Tom. We've given you a hard time. Here's what I do want to ask you genuinely. Are you sure you want to make this yeah. call, man? Because is the thing. Sometimes on Ghosted, as you know, the answers can be a bit brutal. You sure? I mean, at this point, I, I don't really see what I have to lose here. Let's, let's All right. do it. All right. Let's give Adrienne a call. <laughs> Adrienne, it's nice to meet you and talk to you. Um, Good morning. Uh, it, no, like, listen. So the thing is, we're calling you today about uh, somebody named Tom. And from what we understand, you and Tom met on Hinge, talking every day. And then all of a sudden, things abruptly stopped. And we were just calling to inquire why. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad. I'm really sorry for ghosting him. Oh. Regret is good, but Okay. Uh, why did you ghost him? Yeah. Um, well, honestly, he thought we were so much more than we were. I didn't reply to his text for a day, and he sent me this really long message about how he loves me. I yeah. sent it to all my friends, oh. and they told me to run. <laughs> um, so, Did this message feel completely out of the blue, or was like there's some communication between you guys while you were hooking up over those couple months? Like, what was, like, a level of 1 to 10, what was the communication there? Mm -hmm. 
Zero. Okay, got it. You there? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, it it just it was it wasn't a whole lot. Okay. okay. So we weren't clear on the expectations. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody got the feelings. Okay. Getting your feelings is fine. Well, TJ, I please, just just please say yes, Adrian. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this is creepy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Everybody's so, so quiet. Okay. Uh, Tom, I didn't even get the chance to ask her if she wanted to go on a date, but uh, Adrian, Tom's been listening the whole time. He, he wasn't supposed is. to speak. Seems like he might be. <laughs> <laughs> what we were going to ask, Tom, if you'd play it cool for once, is if you would like to restart things, we would pay for your next date. Are you interested in, in, in seeing Tom again? Communication included. Um, I, I'm I'm just going to go if, if that's all right. Um, thank you guys for the offer. Yeah, no it problem. Was, it was nice to hear from you, Tom, but... No, thank okay. you. Thank Good you. Really you Thanks, Adrian. Thank you, honey. You know, once your texts are screenshot and sent in the groom chat, that's about it, isn't it? That's, I think so. There's no coming back from that. Usually, from what I understand, uh, if if they if if you're the if she says nothing to her friends, they assume it's going well. Yes. If she's sending the messages to her friends, it's not going well. Yeah. Not necessarily. I mean, the judge and jury can be good and bad. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, yeah. Tom. Not usually. Yeah. True. Tom. Yeah. How you doing, pal? Um. You know, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. So let's run through some stuff here. Okay. Okay. So first off, number one, there is nothing wrong with falling for someone. No. Okay? Yeah. Nothing wrong at all. No. Number it's an two. honor to be heartbroken. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Because you, you get to feel, yeah. right? Yeah. Number two, let's be clear on our expectations next time. So when you yeah. date someone, exactly. you got to say, hey, listen, I'm starting to feel this way. Do you. But don't send it in a text. Make sure it's over dinner. Six to eight weeks in is not an unfair no. amount of time to say, where are we going Absolutely. with this? Absolutely. And mm-hmm. I need to say expectations can change and that's healthy too. You True. just have to verbalize that. Right. And if you're more of a visual learner, let us run through a scenario. For example, Jax, you and I have been on six dates. You're so hot. No. <laughs> okay. That's an example of what not to do. Okay. Yeah. Here's an example of what you should do. Mm-hmm. Jax, I want to have your babies. <laughs> Tom, it was Tom, so good talking to you. Yeah, Tom, listen, life. man. So, so just be <laughs> next time. Problem, and, 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 yeah, and oh, listen, gosh. you are you put yourself out there. I respect it. I appreciate it. We all do. You seem like a sweet guy. Wrong person <laughs> for you. And just make clear your expectations next time. Because yeah. there are. she said it. I felt like we were just fooling around. Yeah. And because there was no communication there, she had every right to feel that way. Yeah, your right? heart is going to be kept well by somebody. Yeah. 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 And, okay. you, and by the way, you deserve to have someone... Feel as crazy about you as they as you, you do. do about them, okay? And it sounds like TJ is looking for someone <laughs> right now, so get in touch, get in touch. Triple nine, double nine. Thank you, Tom.